I found another rubber band. Now I've got four. Hello, Torval. Yeah, how'd you dare, Pot Pot? You sure do have a lot of apples. Yep, I sure do. I was supposed to take them to Mr. Baldini, but I hurt my back last night dancing with the chickens. I'll be okay, but I can't take the apples to Mr. Baldini right now. I can take some of them to Mr. Baldini, if that would help. That would be wonderful, Pot Pot, and that might even clear a path to my dairy barn. Thank you, Torval. These apples look really tasty. That's a lot of carrots. Don't I know it? Everyone wants apples and nobody wants carrots. I wish I had some apples to sell. Well, gosh, have I got a surprise for you. I went to the farm and I'm loaded with apples. That's a terrific. I'd be much obliged if you'd toss them right into the apple bin. Here's the apples you need. Wow! These are some super apples! They go right into the bin. Hey, the bin's not quite empty. A few of those pesky carrots fell into it. Oh, nobody wants a carrots, and I've got a plenty to spare. You cannot take them away. How do you like them apples? I like them. I like them a lot. Thank you for the apples. And thank you for the carrots. Smokey was right. There sure are a lot of bunnies in here. Let's see if I can use these carrots to lure them back into that magic hat. There's another one! No more bunnies! Where did they go? They're all back in this hat, where they'll stay until a properly licensed magician pulls them out. Great! Maybe you should take the hat, so the next time you see a magician, you can give it to them! Smokey, that doesn't look like your usual fire hat. You're right, Putt-Putt! That's not my hat! Mine's red! Whose hat is that? It's a magician's hat. You and Marvin the Marvelous must have gotten your hats mixed up somehow. Oh yeah, last night I rushed over to Marvin's shop because he was practicing a trick that went wrong. Everything was okay, but there was a lot of confusion and I guess I left with the wrong hat. Could you please return the hat to Marvin with my sincere apologies? Sure.
Marvin, is this your magic hat? There's only one way to find out. Alakashazu! Alakashazi! You did it! Great trick, Marvin! I am gloriously grateful for your help, Putt Putt. Wherever did you find my hat? Your hat had been mixed up with Smokey's. Ah, our friendly local firefighter. I shall now return the other hat to him. A la 12 alarm, return! Let's watch the journey of the hat. Now that you have the right hat, will you be ready to put on a big show tomorrow? Of course. Expect me to appear at the party. Here's my card. On the back, there's a coupon for 20% off dry cleaning. Wow! 20% off dry cleaning? This is the special bag Mrs. Widget gave me to store all of the items I need for Pep's party. I still need a cake, some balloons, my gift for Pep, and a happy birthday banner. This. That's the crystal of shiny sparkliness. Birds are mesmerized by its sparkle and will drop anything to have it. It's free if you want it or something. You sure you don't mind if I take it? Of course not. That's what free things are all about. And if you don't find it groovy enough for you, you can trade it for one of the other free things. Thank you, Putt Putt. Could you please be a dear and bring in those boxes for me while I wrap up your banner? Sure. Sure, Pep. Go play with your friend the Dalmatian at the firehouse. Here are your big boxes, Ms. Widget. Thank you, Pud Pud. It'll just take me a moment to put these away. Did you say you were going to give me a banner for the party? Sure. Here's a big, beautiful banner. As a reward for helping me with that silly crow, you can take this box of party goodies with you. Super, thanks. This bag is where I put the items I need to get for Pep's party. I still need a cake, some balloons, and a gift for Pep. 